Yes, pulling up to Chelt Golf Club, which was my first club really. Um, played the public course Sandy with Dad until I was old enough and joined here about 13, I think. Um, early 90s, and this was me. Every day, really, after school, I'd ride up this hill with my bag on my back or dragging a buggy. Good memories. I haven't been here for like 20 years, at least. Today's the game. Um, all the best players we've got in Victoria, we've been doing it around the Sandbelt and around courses in Melbourne, and this time we're gonna come back to Chelt, which is really cool. Nine hole place. Always been really good for juniors, actually, this club. So it's kind of nice that the members are probably a bit excited. They don't have a bunch of good players come here very often, so they're probably all chomping at the bit. How are you, mate? Yeah, great, mate. You doing all right? Fantastic to see you. Yeah, yeah good. It's good to be here. Everyone's excited to see like their golf course that they play every day, like played by good players, I guess, and young players and some old members. I'm an old member and uh, Matt Griffin's back and a few other guys. So Paul Skinner, guy I grew up with playing here. So it's kind of a really cool group. So I think the locals are sort of into it. It's nice. I mean, I've, I've already bumped into a few guys that were, um, I was friends with or I knew back when I was a kid and they're still here, which is that sort of club. It's a loyalty sort of place. So um, cross section, few juniors, sort of men, women, everyone just come out to see us play their course. It's fun. Jeff was um, a group of young boys that joined the club uh, back in the late 80s. Um, he won the B grade championships in 1990. He reminds me very much of the young lad that just hit off before, Lenny Savile. Small, um, slim and could hit a golf ball. He would finish his golf, him and his mates, and they would then play pool on our full-size billiard table that was in the clubhouse in those days. Um, and they're very fond memories of Geoffrey. Hole of Cheltenham, probably the best hole here, maybe the one everyone talks about. Legitimate Sandbell par three, really. At the start of the round, I felt really nervous. I was literally shaking, trying to mark my ball. Great feeling to feel nervous and and play in front of a crowd, and and even with Jeff's another, another level of nerves. It's just really cool that Jeff and, and his team's organised a day where we can all just come out and play and, and yeah, everyone's out watching it. Just, it just, it's really cool, different, very different. Yeah, it's a cricket oval, Shipston Reserve, and you were the king if you could go over the corner. Like you, only the long kids could do that. I never really could, and once I could, I kind of, was it Victoria? Did you ever go, the corner? If you're going to go, you've got to try and hit it onto the first, because you can't stop it. It's not really the go anymore, I don't think. The trees are too big. Two doubles and a birdie. You yeah. really hear that, didn't you? Two doubles and a birdie. This is back where we all started, actually, as kids. Started here at Cheltenham and used to play in 10s and 12s down the first hole in shootouts. We joined here maybe, would it be 12 years old, 13 years old, and we kind of played here until about 16, 17, and the progression then was you'd sort of jump the fence and go across to Victoria. And um, But as a grounding and a place to start, it was just fantastic. We had, you know, 15 plus kids out, out every single night. Some of us went on and did a little bit better than others. Some went on and won US Opens, and others went on to coaching like me. But. <laughs> Um, but it's been fabulous, we've been great mates ever since. Yeah, it was great fun being back. I think probably 22 years or something, I think I worked out while I was there. So really fun, the course has sort of grown up. All the trees were all little when I was a kid. Now they're all sort of big, makes it feel really narrow. Great fun though, 
lots of memories about all the stuff we used to get up to out here. Victoria Golf Club, man, it's a natural transition, I guess, for a kid to go over there, because it's, it's literally, they almost share a driveway, so it's literally next door. And it's funny, the first two or three years I joined Vic, I'd play Vic on the Saturday comp, but we would, I would park here or have my bike here, and we would jump the fence just over here behind the clubhouse and go over to Vic, play the comp, and then we would never go in the clubhouse at Vic because it was a bit stuffy for when we were kids. It felt stuffy anyway. So we'd come back here and we'd just hang out in the bar and play pool here and then play nine holes here after we finished. I saw a bunch of people that I used to know when I was a kid and um, they used to be telling me off when I was little, but now we're like actually equals, which is amazing. I met Jeff um, at the National. I played pretty well when I, I must have done something right to keep playing with him. So it's just so good to play with the pros and learn off them and see what, how they go about their business. So yeah, it's, it's really good. Done. Always nice to see that one again. Signed a few of those. Never sick of signing that one.